Okay, um, as I said, I'm going to go through some videos to show you how to do some of these things. So, um, first thing we're doing is for each of the following, we get it. So, basically, I'm going to do this pretty much all on CAS. I'm not going to write anything down because it's just easier. I don't see how I'm supposed to write anything and you guys can see it. But um, uh, it'll just be on CAS and then we'll go on, um, go on a couple of other things. So, um, we're looking at for each of the following, <clears throat> sorry, we're going to use CAS to complete the square. And then we're going to state the turning point of the graph. We're going to do it for. We're not going to do it for all of them. We're going to do it for one of each of the things um, because you just do it exactly the same way. And then for question six above for this one, we're going to go through how to find the y co uh, the term the y coordinate when x equals three point seven. Um, so that's what we're going to do for that one. So let's say so we're going to complete the square. So what we're going to do? We're going to fire up CAS. Uh, we're going to go home. We're going to press our calculator button. And we're going to go to menu. Algebra, complete the square. And then here we're going to type in our equation. So 2x squared, 2x squared plus 12x, 2x squared plus 12 plus 14, plus 14. And we're going to say comma x. And I'm going to close my brackets and I'm going to press enter. And there it completes the square for me. So now based on this, we can say that we've got a turning point at, remember it's the opposite sign to this, so we have a turning point at negative 3 and then whatever this is here at negative 4 so that is where our turning point happens so just to go through it again complete the square type in your equation comma x and it spits out the um, turning point form and then whatever you've got here you take the opposite sign so it's plus so our sign is negative minus 4 minus 4 um, so that's what we end up with as our um, as our turning point okay now, the next one along asks to so say we do the rest of these exactly the same way. Uh, the next one says, find the minimum values of the following expressions. Okay, so to find the minimum value, there's a couple of ways we can go about it. Basically, the easiest and most straightforward one is that we graph it. So 2x squared plus 6x minus 4, that's what we're going to graph. So we'll go to our graph page, home, graph, and we'll go to 2x squared, 2x squared plus is it 6x. Yep, got to be a 6 because my, my computer doesn't work. 6x plus 4, and, or oh, sorry, minus 4. And we press enter and the graph does something like that. So now what we can do, menu, uh, window or zoom, let's just zoom out. And now I'll press escape. And to find the minimum value, I go menu, analyze graph, minimum. And I say, okay, lower bound, upper bound. And there, my minimum value is 8.5, and that happens at negative 1.5. So, sorry, a minimum value is negative 8.5, and it happens at negative 1.5. But that's what we do to find our minimum point. Um, so, for the next one, we complete the square. So, complete the square, do all the same as before. Now, to find the maximum values, what we do is we graph them, and we go through the same way. So, let's see. We're going to find the maximum. So, let's go to a new graphing page. And we are going to graph 6 plus 4x minus x squared. 6 plus 4x minus x squared. Let's graph that. We can see that's what our graph does. So menu, zoom out, back, and we go to menu, analyze graph. We'll look for a maximum, set our boundaries. Now we have a maximum of 10, and it happens at 2. So that's that's the way we can go through. Um, that's where we can go through that. Um, there is another option. Let's go to our calculator page. If we say f max, we type in our equation of um, six six plus four x minus six plus four x minus x to the power of two. I'm going to close off my bracket, uh, and I think I need a comma x. It tells you that our maximum happens at x equals 2, so what we do is when we put the 2 into our equation. Um, but that's just uh, that's just another way we can do it. For minimum, uh, it will be f min rather than f max. But my advice, like I said, just graph it, because then you can find your maximum and your minimum fairly straightforwardly. 
So that is um, first couple of questions. Um, oh, that's right. We've got to find the y coordinate when the x coordinate is 3.7. So for this, let's look at this one. We'll do 8 minus 6x minus x squared. There's a couple of ways we can do this. We'll say 8 minus 6x minus, oops, minus x squared. We press enter. Now, when we want x is 3.7, what we do is we take that 3.7 so and we um, put it into here. So I'm going to press the up arrow. I'm going to press enter to bring that back. It's like doing copy and paste. And now instead of x, I'm going to put in, whoops, instead of x, I am going to change it to 3.7. And instead of this x, I'm going to change this to 3.7 as well. And it tells me it's at negative 27.89. Now, the other thing we can do, and you'll have to be able to do this in year 11 and year 12, is to define a function. So, and that makes this whole thing a lot easier. So we go menu, actions, define. And we say we define a function of x. And that equals our equation. So what we do, we type in, so we put define f of x and type in our equation and we press enter. And it'll say done. Now if we type f of x, it tells what the equation is. If I do f of 3.7, it'll then tell us the same thing. Well, it'll tell us what we had earlier. So just a quicker way to do it. If you're using a function over and over and over again, really good idea to define it and then work your way through it. So that's pretty much the first set of things done. So here we have used CAS to complete the square, determine the turning point, and we've graphed to find the maximum and minimum points. And then um, we've shown how to find uh, a y value when we're given an x coordinate.